Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the first prep video in my hard 75 series for 2024. So this video is going to cover all of the prep for week one of hard 75 from planning my workouts to planning out my meals and then food prepping my meals. We're going to walk through it all together. Um, if you have not watched my why I chose hard 75 video, please be sure to check that out. I will link it below. It explains my thought process as well as the rules of hard 75 and what all it entails. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of this entire series. It is going to last almost 11 weeks, hard 75, 75 days. It's going to be a long one. And um, hopefully those before and after pictures at the end are oh so satisfying. So oh, let's get started. So obviously I think the key to success in programs like this is preparation, planning, and preparation. So for me there's really two main things that need to be planned and prepped every week. So I need to plan out my workouts. If I go ahead and schedule my classes and know what I what workouts I'm doing each day, I can get mentally prepared and not make nearly as many excuses. Um, so I need to understand what my work schedule is that week. I need to understand what all I need to get done for YouTube that week. And then I need to understand where my workouts are going to slot into that. Um, I'm lucky because this first week of Part 75, I do not have to go into the office at all. So I think it'll be a really good intro to the program week. Um, so I've got to plan out my workouts and then I've got to plan out the food that I'm going to meal prep for the week. Meal prepping when I'm doing programs like this, especially doing two workouts a day, meal prepping I think is the only way that I will be successful at this. I do not enjoy cooking. You are not going to find me whipping in the kitchen for fun. It is like a necessity for me that I have to cook my dinner at night. So I enjoy meal prepping, especially during programs like this. So I've got to find the recipes that I want to use and go shopping and prep the food and all of that. So first things first, we are going to plan my workouts for the week. Okay, so I am a member at Core Power Yoga. Um, I really like Core Power. It's not like my favorite yoga studio, yoga-wise, that I've ever been a part of. It's not your classic, um, really difficult vinyasa hot yoga. Um, they do have some classes like that, but then they also offer what are called sculpt classes. So they're essentially like hit and floor Pilates and yoga all combined, which is really good because quite frankly, those are never workouts that I will do on my own. I, I, I just don't enjoy that type of workout on my own, but I really enjoy them in a class setting. So I'm gonna try to mix up during the week, I'm going to try to mix up um, early classes and doing yoga and sculpt. I don't want to do sculpt classes every single day because it is a lot of cardio and it is hit style and I don't need to lose any more weight necessarily. I'm trying to put on muscle. So I'm going to keep those to maybe two or three times a week and then yoga at varying levels, hot yoga throughout the rest of the week. So let's go ahead and schedule my classes this week. Um, so my work starts at like nine o'clock and I don't have to go into the office at all, which means that I really just need to be back home by like 8.30 at the absolute latest. So really lucky. So looking at Monday, January 1st. So Monday, January 1st, I actually have off of work and I'm planning to watch the sunrise for New Year's. Um, this will be, I'm, we'll be releasing this a little after I've scheduled all of this, but so I'm gonna do a little bit of a later class on Monday. Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this 12 p.m. yoga two. So I'm going to go ahead and book that. And then for Tuesday, so I did a yoga class on Monday. On Tuesday, I'm going to do a sculpt class. I do have work on Tuesday. So I am going to do the 6.30 sculpt. All right. On Wednesday, I have work again. Um... So I'm going to do, I did Monday yoga, Tuesday sculpt, Wednesday I'm going to try and do yoga. Yep, 
I've got a 6.30 yoga class. And then Thursday will be sculpt, hopefully. All right. Yep, I've got a 6.30 sculpt class. And then Friday, Fridays are generally pretty chill at work, but I'm still gonna try and get this one done before work starts. And this will be a yoga class, fingers crossed. Ooh, I do not have a yoga class early in the morning on Friday. Okay, so We'll do sculpt again. We'll do a sculpt class again. It's a little more hit than I wanted to do for the week, but it's okay. All right, and then on Saturday, I'm gonna do all yoga during the weekend. I love hot yoga, so I this it excites me to do yoga on the weekends. Um, all right, so let's do... There's a yoga three on Saturdays now. Yoga three is their hardest yoga class. So it's like advanced movements, advanced postures, um, advanced balancing. I love the yoga three class, but they've only been having it on Sundays. So obviously, obviously we're gonna do it on Saturday too. That is super exciting. And then they should also have it on Sunday. Yes, they do, 10, 15. Okay. So I've scheduled all of my classes for the week. I think that scheduling my classes in advance um, really helps me, one, because it just helps me know what to expect. It, know, it helps me know why I need to go to bed and what I need to wake up for, but also I get charged if I don't go to these classes and I don't cancel within a 24 hour time frame. So, gotta go to the classes. All right, so in addition to my classes, um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I actually rock, rock climb um, with my friends that rock climb. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'll go to the gym and rock climb. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I will weight train. And then on Saturday and Sunday, I will walk Louie and maybe go overline climb on Saturday. We'll see, we'll see. But that's kind of my plan, is in the morning, do my classes, at night, go to the gym, and either weight train or rock climb on the weekends, walk Louie as my long walk for the day, okay? So, workouts are planned out. Next up, we have got to figure out what foods I want to eat for the week. All right, so I made a board on my Pinterest called Hard 75 Recipes. Um, I will link that board below. But this is just gonna kind of be a running board for me throughout this challenge where I'm gonna post recipes from Pinterest that I like and that I might wanna make. So this week we're gonna need to figure out what I wanna make for breakfast, lunch, dinner. I like making large meals that I can prep and then eat throughout the week. Um, I'm not gonna be eating bread in all of this. Obviously no added sugars, but also like, I just don't wanna eat bread. So for breakfast, I think I'm just gonna go super simple to start off with. I know I will get sick and tired of eggs throughout this seven hard 75 challenge. Um, I run my course with eggs and then I come back to eggs, but I'm gonna start out super simple for breakfast and I'm just gonna do um, two eggs scrambled, probably with cheese, maybe not. Um, two eggs scrambled with avocados and diced sweet potatoes and hot sauce. <laughs> so that's how I'm gonna start every morning and then I will probably do a protein shake like mid-morning and that's just frozen fruits, my protein powder and um, oat milk I think is what I'm gonna do. Um, so that's breakfast handled. I don't really have that pinned on the board. That's just an easy go-to breakfast for me. Now for lunch and dinner, I really want to do a pot roast this week. So I found this slow cooker Whole30 um, pot roast. I look up Whole30 recipes because I'm doing no added sugar and that's something that's really big for Whole30. Whole30 is also just all about um, knowing your ingredients, so like clean ingredients. So these recipes are gonna be good no matter what um, in terms of health and wellness. I had pot roast while I was home and I was just like, Mm, God, it's so good. So easy too. You just throw it in the crock pot, it cooks itself. And it's enough food to feed me for days. 
So I'm gonna pin this to my hard 75 recipe. I'm thinking that'll feed me for like three, maybe four meals. I'm thinking like four meals. It'll feed me for four meals. Oh, you know what else I'll probably make? Super simple for week one. I think I'll get more creative with the recipes and stuff after this, but um, my simple fajitas. So it's just ground beef, um, onions, red peppers, green peppers, yellow peppers, all sauteed together with seasonings and rice uh, and avocado. So good, so simple, makes about three to four meals. So I'll probably make that as well. And then um, my third classic meal prep meal that I always do is um, the shrimp, like sauteed shrimp and like these spices over rice and usually some type of vegetable. I'll probably do asparagus because I love asparagus. Um, but yeah, I think those are, I'm, I'm gonna stay away from Pinterest right now and I think that I'll get more creative as time goes on, but for week one, it's gonna be a lot of change and all of this and all of that. So I'm gonna make those three meals for lunch and dinners and then gonna get sweet potatoes and eggs and avocados for breakfast. I'm gonna keep it super simple. I remember with Whole30, I went a little crazy early on with the recipes and just try to get super out there and creative and cook and all of this. And it honestly burnt me out. It was just way too much going on. So I'm gonna keep it super simple, recipes that I know and that I'm comfortable with and that I can meal prep with on week one. So we're gonna do, breakfast is gonna be um, eggs and sweet potatoes and avocados lunch and dinners kind of rotated throughout the week. Meal prepped is gonna be um, beef fajitas, sauteed shrimp and rice with vegetables. And third is going to be pot roast with uh, potatoes and carrots. So I have my meals figured out. I have my workouts figured out. Last step is to go and grocery shop and then meal prep my food and we will be ready for Hard 75 week one. Okay, we are about to go grocery shopping and get all of the food needed to meal prep. Isn't it hilarious how dark it gets out here? It's like literally five o'clock at night and it is pitch black outside. That's so crazy to me. Anyways, going shopping. Y'all know how I love Aldi. So gonna try and get as much as we can from Aldi and then go to Jewel Osco if necessary. So let's go. I just got back from grocery shopping. Um, I had to go to Aldi and then to Jewel Osco. Learned something new tonight. I got everything that I needed, but Friday nights, Fridays, are not a good day to shop at Aldi. They were out of almost everything. <laughs> everything that I need at least. They were like out of, I guess they were out of the essentials, which is a lot of what I needed. But I was still able to get a good amount of stuff there, so I ended spending up ended up spending 43 at Aldi and 34 at Jewel. So that makes it what um 77 77 for um the week's groceries. I'm not mad about that. Um not mad about $77 at all. So we'll see, hopefully this lasts me all week. Um, it is Friday night, I do wanna relax. So I am going to meal prep tomorrow. Good morning! It is Saturday morning, the day before New Year's Eve, and this morning, 
final step of the whole prep process for 75, um, hard 75 week one will be all of the meal prep. So I've got to get the roast going. I've got to get my fajitas all cooked up and um, I've got to get my shrimp sauteed. It really shouldn't take that long. So let's get started. was so easy it's just gonna cook for the next eight hours now we are going to prep the fajitas just left is the rice that's cooking and then I have to make um, the sauteed shrimp and cauliflower rice both of which are super super easy and take almost no time
Oh my goodness. Meal prep is done. I'm exhausted, but I'm so glad that I got that done. Now I won't have to think about food for the entire week. I just have to stay on top of my exercise, my water consumption, my reading. Um, also, just talked to my friend that I am doing Hard 75 with, and we finally agreed upon a book. We are going to read Attached, all about different attachment styles and healthy relationships and communication and all of that fun stuff. So I'm super excited. I have been told to read this book numerous times by other friends and I have yet to do it. So I am about to order Attached and that will be the final prep piece for week one of Hard 75. Stay tuned because I am going to vlog throughout the week and show you what it's really like to do Hard 75 and then get together with you every week and prep for the next week of Hard 75. So stay tuned. It's going to be one hell of a journey to say the least. And um, hopefully those before and after pictures are money in the bank. So thank you so much and I will see you back next time.